The show you're watching right now saves lives. And I know that for a fact because this week I received this handwritten letter. Look at this thing. It says, and this is the actual letter, it says, Dear Andrew, I just want to express my sincere thank you as your program has taught me a maneuver that actually saved my and other people's lives. The swerve and avoid maneuver allowed me to miss a vehicle which would have otherwise been T-boned by myself. Thanks, Will Banda. I called Will Banda and he told me that he was traveling on a rural highway and someone blew a stop sign right in front of him so he instinctively locked up the brakes but then started skidding towards that somebody and then remembered, oh, if I just release the brakes, I can steer to safety, which is what he did. And this is the he in question, Mr. Will Bandy. You actually learned that steering maneuver by watching our show? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think it's made me a better driver overall. Great. Thank you very much. Oh, you, sir, are more than welcome. And that you're welcome doesn't just come from me. That comes from the entire crew. You're welcome, Mr. Banda. We're glad you're alive. We're glad everyone's alive. This is Canada's worst driver. In this, our second last show of the season. You just ran a red and you almost hit a pedestrian. What the f And you're taking another spot. We're down to our final four motorists. Like, like, oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention because I was focused on something else. Who are all struggling to not be named Canada's worst driver. The road in front of you, no biggie. And when you watch these people behind the wheel. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. One thread seems to tie them all together. Tim Danter sees the thread. Were you focused enough to catch it? The one sort of commonality I see when I'm on the road with, with everyone this year is the focus. Alexis says she has not learned how to focus during her time in rehab. So no, I don't think my focus has really improved. I've noticed him, I don't, I don't focus. Brittany's ability to focus has improved in rehab. You're beginning to be more focused. Absolutely. Uh, okay, focus, okay. Focus. Brandon focuses on extreme cursing whenever he gets stressed. What's the word we're going to transpose the F-C-K with? Uh, focus. The word is focus. Focus. Tim has a method to help Desi and everybody focus. Let's focus in on commentary here. Okay. The driver commentary. Have a look at this intersection as we approach. Is no there anything there? Coming. Nope. No, look right across the lawn. Nothing. Good. Is when a driver says everything out loud that is relevant to them on the road. Say we got a green light. Is there anything that's going to cause us grief? And it doesn't look like it. No. No. And Tim knows if Desi continues doing a driver commentary. So you got the white truck on the right. He's not moving. Good. This guy here. Take one more check at the white truck just to make sure he's behaving himself. Now, eyes around. This is the entrance to the highway. The creepy feeling she gets physically from highway driving will subside. Is the itchiness for the anxiety? Yeah. OK. Desi starts off itchy. You want to go on it again? Sure. But she sticks with it and ultimately merges onto and off of the highway four times. I didn't have any anxiety at all that time. Getting more and more confident as she goes. The commentary really helps. Focus. And I go get that tattooed on my hand. Are you really? Yeah. Cool. The next challenge for Canada's worst drivers will test their common... will test their common sense, and their ability to not cross a line that they cannot recover from. Sadly, though, as I look into the future of our annual Know Your Limits test, I see that Alexis will decide to... I'm gonna push it. Push it. And Brandon will crash it, while Brittany will smash it. However, what will Desi do? 
What will Desi do? Wait. 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 Oh, that, that alarm means your, your time is over. If you want to know what Desi does, you'll have to pay for another session. Or you could just watch our annual Know Your Limits Challenge. For this challenge, drivers have to navigate around five foam figures positioned 40 meters apart. Once that's done, they'll be asked to reduce the distance between each foam figure by as much as they want, while still being able to slalom through them at 70 kilometers an hour. It's during that second run that we'll learn whether or not Canada's worst drivers know their limits. Ooh, Nelly, I do love me some Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Even if it does take half a kilometer to get it up to 70. Which I'm at exactly right now. And then, I don't look at the foam figures. I look between them, and there's plenty of room. I'm maintaining my speed, am I? Yes, I am. And I'm not freaked out. I could now reduce the distance between the foam figures and run the course again. But I'm not gonna. Do Canada's worst drivers know their limits? Are they gonna say, you could shrink that by 10 meters? We're about to find out. Brandon is combing his hair as I approach. Hi. Brandon's best friend, Sarah, is who nominated him as Canada's worst driver. Oh, he's here. Total amount of time spent in rehab combing your hair. At, at least like seven, eight hours. How much time spent reading about rules of the road and or studying road signs? Like less than 10 minutes, honestly. Spend some time trying to advance yourself when you have downtime instead of seeing if you can look like Justin Bieber circa 2011. Mm. You go when you're ready. Thank you. Almost a minute later, Brandon still hasn't gone. You can go whenever you're ready, buddy. I know. I know, Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to upset you. I just thought maybe you didn't know. Aw, he, he's really good to you, Brandon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just a little on edge. It's OK. I just want to respond to you in a way that you understand. Because this is the way you communicate. I figure maybe it's the way you want to be communicated with. You can go. I know you know that. But it's worth telling you again, because you weren't going. <laughs> OK, we're going. I'm so happy that he, like, gets on your level. I'll be unhappy if Brandon doesn't steer cleanly through the foam figures while there's 40 meters between each of them. It should actually be relatively calm steering. Let's see how he does. Two. Ooh. Four. I thought that was great. It shows that he's learned a lot in rehab, like he's got everything figured out. And he's driving calmly and collectively the way we taught him to, so I'm really happy with that. Now, how much will Brandon choose to shrink the distance between the foam figures by? Don't tell me something you can't do. Tell me something you can do. What's your limit? 15. 15? Okay, yeah, let's do that. 15. Okay. So you're shrinking it to 15 or by 15? To 15. So 15 meters between each foam figure. There's 40 now. Let's just shrink it down to 20. Shrink it down to 20. To 20, yes. And you know you can do that, right? Yes. It's not like you're... I, I, I'm confident that I can go 70 and I can do that. Let's go. That's exactly why this kid has wrecked, like written off completely totaled five cars in his 10 month long driving history because he has no idea what his limits are. Oh my god. Oh, you got this. Nobody could get this with just 20 meters between each foam figure. I thought you had this. Brandon doesn't think he'll be graduating this episode. There's no question I'll be in the finale. Desi says she can run this course with just 25 meters between each foam figure. I think it's doable. At 25? Yeah. You know that for a fact in your heart of hearts you can do it at 25? 
Yes. I question if you know your limits. I don't think I know my limits. That's Drew, Desi's friend. Know your limits, not push them. I know, but I do that. Before coming to rehab, Desi didn't know her limits. She'd written off 20 cars, 20, 20 cars, 20. Do you know anybody who's ever written off 20 cars? Buckle up and shut up. Yeehaw. Desi has literally dozens of scars on her body from glass cuts from car crashes. And the reason for that is she always pushes her limit. She may know where it is, but she tries to find out the wrong way. Oh. Okay. Desi passes. You know your limits. Yeah. Don't cross them anymore. I'll try. When we come back, Alexis and Brittany Holy run the Know Your Limits Challenge. Canada's worst drivers are running our annual Know Your Limits Challenge, which starts off with a slalom that has 40 meters between each foam figure. Then drivers can reduce that distance by something they believe is challenging, but still doable. I thought you had this. Alexis is fine with 40 meters between each foam figure. And for her second run? We're gonna go 30 meters. You're gonna go 30? 30. 30. Let's try, I'm gonna push it. The last thing she said before turning around was, yeah, 30, let's push it. That's the opposite of the point of this challenge. I'm looking where I want to go, so I want to go through. I want to go through. Okay, this is really... That's good. You're good. That's Jerry, the driving instructor who first taught Alexis five years ago. You're good. Okay, I'm good. You're I'm good. good. You're I'm doing good. good. You're I'm good. I'm good. Woohoo! Ah, I did it. Alexis pushed her luck and passed. And now she's really pushing her luck. She wants to be in our final episode. Why, why do you want to be in the finals? I want, like, you to see the difference from when I came to rehab and where I am now. Alexis is in the final three. You're in the finals for Canada's Worst Driver. I don't care how well you drive I'm today, happy, you're though. in the finals. Don't you're make me Canada's finals. Worst Driver, though. I can't control that. Brittany will probably also be in the finals. Holy <laughs> Mia. Brittany. Mia is Brittany's sister. I can't control it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh. I can't control it. Tim watches every move that Canada's worst drivers make alongside Shamala Kiru, Philippe Letourneau, and Cam Woolley. This was classic target fixation. She started looking at that figure, she locked on and steered right into it. At the end of this episode, these experts will help me decide who should graduate and who should be left in the finals for Canada's worst driver. What happened at the end? I just started to turn like nothing else. What do you mean? You started to turn the direction you steered? I don't know what happened. So where, where were you looking? At the person. At the person? Yeah. Right? And that lures you straight into mm -hmm. the person. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I know. There's 40 meters between each of those foam figures. What's the tightest we can make that and you're still able to do it? Maybe 30. 30, you can do it at 30? Yeah. Okay. I don't think she knows her limits. In fact, I know it and she's about to find out. Oh my God, I'm going way too fast. I'm going way too fast, I'm going way too fast. I didn't do it. I hit one. You hit two, Brittany. I hit two? This failure causes Brittany to make a bold pledge. If I make it to the end, I'll give up my driver's license willingly. You'll give 100%. up your driver's license yeah. if you're named Canada's worst yeah. driver? 100%. Really? Yeah. Up next oh. is our annual cross challenge. I forgot about that side. And my opinion of how Alexis handles it this is what we're talking about by show a little bit more care. Alters her opinion of me. He's a This is the 
the second last episode for this season of Canada's Worst Driver. Which means, by now, the nominees for our unwanted award should know how to manipulate a vehicle around a confined space without hitting anything! Do they know how to do that? We're about to find out in an annual challenge we call... The Cross! To pass this challenge, drivers must back into each of these four alcoves without damaging the pristine paint on our 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna start with setting the mirrors. There you go, I wanna be able to see the sides of my vehicles for this one because that's what I'm worried about scraping. Let me get really close to that wall to start. Oh, and looky, looky. I've got the bird's eye camera. The bird's eye view camera system shows me everything that's around my vehicle as if seen from above. Completing the cross merely requires patience and a few S-turns. I get it done in just under eight minutes. Now let's see how Canada's worst drivers do. Yeah. Desi gets a warning from Drew that she's going to hit. Hmm? What do you mean? That's what I mean. Desi might be a finalist for Canada's worst driver. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, I figured it was that bad. Look, push the panel right in. Brandon is next. No scrapey scrape. Okay. Or as Philippe would say, pas de scrapey scrape. That's French. Almost immediately, Brandon scrapes. You know how to set your mirrors at this stage of rehab, buddy. Are they set properly? No. Brandon sets the mirrors, but not properly. Oh. Are you touching? Yeah. You can't see that in your mirror. Set your mirror lower, buddy. I'm trying. Set it down so that you can see this. Oh, my lord, that sounds so expensive. Repairing the damage on these two doors would cost Brandon more than two weeks of his salary. Did you hit something? Nope. Brandon is not looking like this episode's graduate. It's painful, isn't it? He's gonna be Canada's first driver. Back on day one of rehab, Alexis told me she drives unsafely because... Maybe I just don't care, but like I do care, I don't know. Do you care or do you wish you cared? I wish I cared. Throughout rehab, I've been pushing Alexis to care more. Well, I care, so I better stop before I jackknife, because I care. I've been pushing because Alexis told Shamala that's what she needs. I need someone to push me. I don't need a pat on the back and gentle words. I'm not here for that. And so we don't want to do that with the front end, right? OK, this is what we're talking about by show a little bit more care and just stop before you hit. Don't. Ah. Like Brandon before her, Alexis sets her mirrors after the scraping has occurred. I still can't see that in my mirror. You see it in this convex one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should use the mirror instead of just staring at it and saying I can't see. Maybe you're right. That's careless, right there. Oh, I forgot about that side. Alexis seems unfocused to me. What the actual But she says. Oh, um, I think I was focused enough. Um, do you think you were focused enough? For, for sure I do, yeah. Oh, OK. If you gave me this okay. to practice with We've left for three, four hours. I For sure, put me in here. I could probably do it. We've left a car by the green room so you can practice. For the last week, Canada's worst drivers have had access to our station wagon and a boatload of cones. And Alexis has practiced with them one time. Oh, no. I was trying to parallel park and I, I hit it. Is this for real right now? I, there, are you sure I did that? You think that hitting 10 things and scraping paint off every corner of this vehicle is focused enough? 
Well, I obviously made a couple mistakes, but that's not because I'm not focused. That's because I can't drive. You tell me I don't care and I don't focus. So graduate me so I can go home and focus there. This morning, Alexis wanted to be in our final episode. And now she wants to go home. I don't learn by being told I don't care and I don't focus. That to me is just discouraging. I think she might be worried that she could be Canada's worst driver. Brittany has driven our Jeep before. Oh, this is gonna be a show, Mia. Having driven this vehicle before. Am I in? No. You would think. Am I hitting something? Yeah. That Brittany would now know. Oh my God, what did we just hit? How big this machine is. Oh my God. She does not. Am I making it? Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Yeah. I didn't even see that in the, in the bird's mirror. Brittany came to rehab so she could start driving Mia's children around again. But that won't be happening. Don't let me lose my family. Because after that, like what she said is, you're not driving my children. It's brutal. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers learn how to handle an icy corner. We told her to look left, honest. Good day, eh? Good day. Okay, so welcome to the show. Today's topic is like ice, but like not ice for your beer cooler, eh? Yeah, like ice on the road. Yeah, but you could put that in your cooler. <laughs> Take off, you could not. Okay, like let's say you're driving on ice, eh? And, and you want to go around like a corner, eh? Like you gotta be careful because things could get like really squirrely real fast, eh? <laughs> Except there is no squirrels in winter. Yes, there are. No, no, there's not, eh? They go, like, down to Florida or something like that. Anyway, if, if things do go squirrely on the ice, you're going to be... It wouldn't happen if you had the ABS. Yeah, eh? Because maybe your car, like, it doesn't have, say, like, ABS, eh? That's what I just said. So, like, the ABS, eh? That's the anti-locking braking system. And, like, things won't get squirrely if you got right. it. Okay, so to teach Canada's worst drivers how to go around a corner on ice without the ABS, is that like that guy, Philip? Yeah, <laughs> Philip's gonna teach him without ABS. I could beat him in a race, you Take know. Take off, you could not. Take off, I could so. Okay, that's our time, eh? Ready for more training? Training. Training. Training? Yes, absolutely. Yes? All right. The training car has no ABS. So, when the brakes are fully engaged, the front wheels will lock up and skid. And when a car is skidding, it's impossible to make it turn. When the grip is gone, you could steer as much as you want. The car will keep the same trajectory. Do you have ABS in your car? Um, that's air brakes, right? Like air brakes. locking block, locking brakes? <laughs> no. ABS is actually a caliper-based system of braking. There's a disc attached to your front wheels, and when the ABS is engaged, a computer-controlled caliper rapidly clamps onto and off of that disc, slowing the car down smoothly until it stops completely. Do you have ABS in your car? I, uh, I don't believe so, no. In fact, Brandon does. Since 2012, all new cars in Canada have been required to have ABS. Lock them up. Steer, steer, steer. And if that ABS malfunctions or is turned off, this light must appear on the dashboard. When you see an ABS light like this, you still have 
braking power, but you don't have the anti-locking system working for you. So that means that you could brake really hard and lock up the wheels. I have a question. If the wheels are locked mm -hmm. and I steer and it doesn't turn. Let go of the brake a little bit. To do that. Look where you want to go. That will make you unlock the wheels and steer to safety. OK. OK, go for it. And brake. Nice, that's simple as that. If you're steering at the object you're skidding towards, though. Lock, steer, release. You won't be able to release the brake. Where are you looking? At the cones. Staring at what you're skidding towards is natural. Lock, turn, 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 turn. But it's potentially lethal. Lock up. Let go. I looked, though. This is you, OK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. That's also Desi. Lock up. Eventually, though. Lock up. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> now let's do it again. Everyone figures out how to release the brake. Lock up. There we go. Try again. By looking where they want to go. Lock, steer, release. Nice. Three in a row. There we go. One more? Sure. <laughs> for the Icy Corner Challenge. Drivers will come down this straightaway at 50 kilometers an hour. When all four wheels hit our synthetic ice, they must slam on the brakes, causing a skid. From there, it's up to them to use the skills they learned to make it around this corner. And the vehicle they'll be doing that in is our brand new Mustang, which today has the ABS Turned off. So first things first, get up to 50. And 50 doesn't mean 55. 50 means 50. That's 49, that's 50. Then I get on the ice and I slowly see me release the brakes here. It's kind of like mmm, like that. That's it. That's all you do. Will Canada's worst drivers pass our toughest challenge? Brittany is up first. Brake, turn, release. Brake, turn, release. Brake, turn, release. Come down here at 50, 50, 50 kilometers an hour. OK, we are at 50. Oh, I'm going a bit too fast. Brittany's going 20% too fast. Brake's on. And she never takes her eyes off the wall. Oh, my god. Shut your eyes. Holy that was slippery as now, roads get slippery when we've got icy conditions. That's the idea. Holy balls, man. 50 kilometers an hour. Does that mean 60? Go whenever you're ready. Drivers will get five attempts at this challenge. And on her second run, Brittany speeds again. OK, both. And again, she focuses on the wall. Nope. So this time, I'm going to look where I want to go. Yes! Philippe, how, how fast was she going? Speed, six, zero. Wow. 50! It's not rocket science. It's 50. 50! There's a dial on the machine and everything. You can tell how fast you're going by looking at it. Here's Brittany's third attempt. I'm going to look every direction, every direction. Brake, turn my head, turn my eyes, Brittany. Nope, I didn't break soon enough. What the is wrong with me? One thing Brittany is doing wrong is oversteering. Compare the amount she steered to the amount that I steered. I just steered enough to make it around the turn. And that subtle steering allows traction to return to the tires more quickly. So turn left. How much steering wheel did you put on? Not much. How much did you steer down there? Oh, probably like this. 
The more you steer, the longer it will take the car to regain grip. Okay, I'm at 50. I'm gonna brake, release. No, I overturned it. What the f is my problem? I over turned. Here's Brittany's final attempt. Don't oversteer. Don't oversteer. Brake, look where I want to go. No, I oversteered again. I oversteered. I oversteered, and then I understeered, and then I try to fix myself, and that's why we're in this situation right now. Brittany fails the icy corner. You want to see how magical ABS is? Yeah. Let, let's show you that. So if we make it to final three, I get to drive with you? Yep. Then I want to go to final three. Really? I do. I want to be able to show to my family mm -hmm. that I can do it on the road. So that's saying you want to be in the finals? Correct. We just got our second finalist for Canada's Worst Driver. And it's right here, it's Brittany. Just so she understands ABS better, I have Brittany hit the ice at 60 kilometers an hour with the ABS turned on. Clamp. See? The miracle of ABS. Look where you're stopping. Yeah. Never, ever, ever get a car without ABS. Oh, I won't. When we come back, the rest of Canada's worst drivers no! attempt to pass the icy corner. I'm considering giving up my license. Canada's worst drivers have learned how to handle a car without ABS Look there. on a slippery surface. Look where you want to go. That will make you unlock the wheels and steer to safety. Now, they're being tested on that skill on our Icy Corner Challenge. What the f is wrong with me? Now, if, if you think you got a new car and you got ABS and you don't need to pay attention, remember that uh, ABS can fail as well. So everybody does need to know this skill. Desi once almost died due to skidding on an icy corner. I jumped the curb and then smashed into that tree head on. I was knocked out for probably about two hours. Woke up the next day in the hospital getting ready for surgery. Here's Desi's first attempt. I think she'll get this. On her first attempt, Desi speeds. <laughs> Did you let off the brakes? No, I didn't. I didn't. I freaked out. I just stared right at the wall, too. Drivers need to realize, just release your eyes from the target and look to where you want to go. Don't go 55. You're not doing yourself any favors. 50. 50. Look where you want to I go. Know, I know, I know, I know, I 50. know, I know. 50, 50. 50, look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. Shush. Don't pump them. I'm not. Okay. Stop! You did it. You did it. <laughs> Desi! is our most difficult challenge. Yeah. Alexis, who asked to be in the finals, hasn't made the commitment that Brittany made. What's her commitment? Her commitment is that if she's named Canada's worst driver, she'll cut up her license and start from scratch. Well, I'm not doing that. No? Hell no. When it comes to care, she only cares so much. <laughs> Brittany's so for agreeing to that. I'm not agreeing to that. You can go when you're ready. The coast is clear. Whoa, she's apparently ready. Alexis didn't talk herself through the steps before taking off. I'm completely on it. No! And she's not prepping for her second attempt either. Anyone cool message me? What are you focused on in between runs? I'm thinking about 
a hundred things. Well, try thinking about the challenge instead. I think it'll help you pass. Focus. Right? That's what you want us to say instead of the word care? Focus. Attached to your phone. See, you're attached, the, you're attached. It, this guy pissed me. OK. No. OK? Focus. I'm so over this conversation. On my insistence, Alexis goes over the steps, then drives. But she's focusing on the technique so much, she doesn't quite go 50. OK, I'm fully on the ice. I think I did it. No, the rule says 50. She's got to do 50. If you go 49, should we call that a pass? Yes. If you went 48, should we call that a pass? Yes, 47, no. <sighs> Philippe, how fast was she? 48. I pass. Two kilometers an hour matters on ice. And I want Alexis to try again. OK, well, can I try one more time? And if I don't get it, we call that a pass. I think you should make the best decision for yourself as a driver. So I'm above 50 now. So like, there's no way that I'm not going to be. OK, I'm on the ice. No! You're looking at the wall. God, I'm not doing it again. I passed. I don't care. I passed. Whatever. Hey, but don't. You looked I don't at the wall. Care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Brandon stares at the wall and botches his first four attempts. Will he pass on his final attempt? Brandon, it's nothing to get upset about. You're learning. For job. <laughs> Brandon, you're learning. That's why you're here. You can't even turn left. You know how at the end of this show we name the finalists for Canada's Worst Driver? Yes. Did you know that two of the spots are already filled? No, I didn't. Do you want to be in the finals? Yes. And to tell you the truth, if, if I'm named Canada's worst driver, I've only driven for 10 months, but I'm, I'm considering giving up my license. I'm starting to realize how much of a hazard I am never. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to ruin, I don't want to kill someone. Brandon will be in the finals. He says he's going to cut up his license if he's named Canada's worst driver. I think he should. When we come back, we'll learn if Desi also wants to be in our final episode. <laughs> For the first time in the history of Canada's worst driver. Put me in the final three. Alexis is in the final three. We have three people in the finals for our unwanted award. So if we make it to final three, I get to drive with you? Yep. Then I want to go to final three. Really? Who all volunteered to be there? Do you want to be in the finals? Yes. Now, the experts and I will learn how these folks will react if they're named Canada's worst driver. Then I would say I would, you know, cut out my license and start over. I'll cut up my license. And never drive again? I won't drive again. I'll catch the bus. Really? Mm hmm Regardless of what title you guys decide to give me at the end, I know that I'm safe back home in my environment where I'm comfortable driving, and I know I'll be fine. What about Desi? Do you want to be in the final episode because... No. I don't want to be in the top three of Canada's Worst Driver. Do you want to graduate this episode? Yeah. And do you deserve to? That's the big question. I think I do. Why? Because I think that I've improved. Is it just me, or do you look different? I look different. I've heard a rumor. What do you have to show me? 
<laughs> I said I was gonna get a tattoo. I said focus, so. Yeah, you did, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, did. I didn't think you'd do it, though. So that's on your hand as you drive. That's yeah. awesome. Did you know that Tim has Look Where You Want to Go tattooed on his ass? <laughs> <laughs> Three people have taken the unprecedented step of asking to be in our final episode. Which means there's only one thing to discuss. Should Desi get her license back or should she be in the finals with him? In what's really a unique twist, the three spaces in our final episode have already been filled with volunteers. Who, who would volunteer to be in the finals for Canada's worst driver? Yeah, you, that's who. But Dazzy, yeah, not you. No. No, but that doesn't mean you are a slam dunk to graduate. No. No, in fact, Two of our experts think you should be in the finals with them. Two of them think you should graduate. Which means it comes down to me, actually. And here's what I think. I think that anyone who's dedicated enough to safe driving to go out and get focus tattooed on their hand <laughs> is dedicated enough to safe driving to be this episode's graduate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you, Desi, come here. No. <laughs> oh. You're this episode's graduate. Yay. Yeah. Before coming to rehab, Desi was a real wreck. She drove safely when her two daughters were with her. But without them? Doing 150. She was a constant speeder. 110. Because you're doing 120. 130 kilometers per hour. She was addicted to her cell phone. Constantly texting, though. And she had one of the worst driving records that we have ever encountered. I flipped my red accent over like a 20-foot embankment. I got T-boned. I rear-ended an old guy. An escort, I rolled it 12 times. I jumped the curb and then smashed into that tree. In rehab, Desi's fear of driving was palpable. And she towered during practically every high-speed lesson. You were not supposed to close your eyes. But she stuck with the program, and Desi didn't just learn safe driving techniques. High five. Nice. Yeah. She made some real-life saving changes. I, I promise I'm not going to drive distracted anymore, man. All her problems she ever had was not focusing, you know, speeds, not paying attention to it. And she's definitely grown from that. Growth is exactly what we're looking for in rehab. Way to go, Desi! Woo! And Desi has definitely grown. Yeah! Even if she does still curse like a teenager. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Desi, you got this. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Drew. Thanks for bringing her. Yeah. Stay focused out there, Desi, for real, hey? Yeah. Stay focused. And you focus on these three people next episode, when one of them is named Canada's worst driver. On the next and final episode of Canada's Worst driver. The three remaining nominees engage in a forward and reverse time trial test. Oh! They endure our annual Mega Mega Challenge. Then it's the part where I always crap my pants a little bit. Dude, that's a stop sign. That's a stop sign. Oh, 
The final public drive. Wow, you're close to the curb. Through the streets of Hamilton. In the end, someone will be presented this trophy and the title no one wants to be burdened with. Canada's worst driver is... Did you know that Tim has Look Where You Want to Go tattooed on his ass?